Cześć wszystkim, nazywam się Paweł Buczek, witaj na kanale Na Muchę. Za mną jest Loyton Trout Fishery, który znajduje się bardzo blisko Telford, jakieś 20 minut drogi stąd. Cena biletu to 20 funtów, 25 przepraszam, za złap i wypuść przez cały dzień. E, bardzo fajne miejsce, żeby połowić. Ma cztery bardzo ładne jeziora. Wybraliśmy się tu z Johnem. W zeszłym roku byliśmy też tu wędkowali, ale przez ten rok czasu chcieliśmy zobaczyć, czy coś się zmieniło. Jak nam poszło? Sami ocencie. Serdecznie zapraszam. Hello, how are you this morning? Yeah, I'm lovely. So that is a Loyton trout fishery. We fished it here a year ago. Yeah, that's uh, right. So we have to try again. See if I catch a fish this time. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the last couple of times I was well succeed. So I got a two rods with me. I got the Orvis 9 hash 5 with the uh, floating line 5. And I was put the two bars and the straightening getting on it. Yeah. And the other one, I got the Shakespeare Sigma with the intermediate fly intermediate line on yeah. with a yellow woolly bagger and that is the place so the place is stocked with uh, rainbows, rainbows blue and, brown. and the browns yeah. the tickets was how much they cost the tickets 25 pounds. 25 pounds for all day fishing so it's not restricted about the time yeah. uh, and you got one two three lakes and all of them quite well stocked you can expect which which size of the fish is what fella says? The 10 plus is quite often irregular here. Yeah, no, he said mainly three pound fish. Okay. But there are some some big fish in here. I mean, he, he said some double figure fish, so there's over 10 pound or something. Ah, so it's a big fish chance. Too light. Yeah, so it's a big chance to caught some really big one, like yeah. a last time. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I will be have a luck to cut another one like that. Yeah. Shall we go there in the corner there so yeah. we'll be covered by the wind? Yeah. Obviously with ours luck, Wednesday luck. Yeah. This must be always something. If not rain, that is already windy. It's gonna be windy day today. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. So the place is where? Where you can find it, the fishery? Lowington Fishery, it's in Staffordshire between Newport and Eckershall on the uh, A519. Okay, so it's from the home days take a while, hour and a half? From you, yeah, yeah from me, from yeah, from you is a little bit longer because oh, yeah. you're from Hereford, yeah. so it's a little bit longer journey from you. So I was thinking, shall we start the day yeah, from that island there? Like so oh, look, there's fish coming. You see the yeah, topping. So it's well early in the moment. So who knows? Might warm up a bit. Yeah, at the moment it's what 10 degrees. It's not really extra warm, but who warm. knows? Who knows? Which sorts of method are you using today, John? Well, I was going to start off with a, a buzzer and a, a blob behind an indicator and just let it float around for a little bit to see how that goes. But I've got an intermediate line and I've got also got a sinking line. So okay. we're not taking it static or just uh, just on, off the surface. And I'll start dropping down the levels and try something deeper. So you're copying me, basically. Yeah. Ah, right. okay. <laughs> yeah, the place looks very promising. I think it will be started from here. So I started from the Orvis, which is much more stuck it, started two bases, one olive green, flashy one, and the other one is also green uh, with a bank. Water color is a little bit colored, but I guess there was a rain, that's why it looks like that way. It's well difficult to cast that line because it's five. But I'll do the job. As always, I forget to take a net with me, so I need to count on John if I caught anything. But he's a good ghillie and good friend. He's always lending my fish if I caught some. I just see some fish jumping there. It's a piping water coming out. I just see the topping there, so oh, move myself a little bit from the john. Oh, I got a feeling they will be here somewhere. You see, I hope he's there. Somewhere there. Chuck it in and have a look. I did start using the new stride indicator. Oh, I got a bait. I got a take. Something, take it. 
Oh yes. Oh yes, some on nipple. They looks like that. That is a branded company what they're using. And they're absolutely amazing. Yeah, some on nipple, my indicator. Come on. I think we'll just come and sniff. There he's gone. So Leuton is quite a large place. They have it three lakes. But also the caravan parking which is there. You can see the caravans. So I guess in the summertime they must be well well busy place. At the moment it's only two of us, but they can be changed any minute because there's lots of anglers there. And that is a shop which you get a ticket from. Now it's a matter of time. Who would be caught the first? Me or John? He is a lucky one, he always had some first one. Not always, but most of the times he has a really lovely fish. I'm struggling with this line 5 to cast. It's well light line. It's good for the river, absolutely brilliant for the river, but for the places like that it's well difficult to cast supposed to later on a little bit of wind, a little bit more strong wind, but it looks really lovely in the clouds there. Wow, stunning today. Brilliant weather. I got the intermediate line on, which is a size 8 with a woolly bagger, yellow woolly bagger sinking, which is look like that. Really lovely. And it's well catchy, but we see how they're going in here now. I try to get the same spot one more time, and then if I would be no luck, I move myself from different place. Maybe there somewhere. But first try to make it a couple casts here when I'm here with the second rod on. I need to get more line out. With that line I can make it really long cast. I need your net. I'll try to move myself a little bit and take the line on the reel, so which is easy for me to get hold of it. But I think that is a rainbow. Very small rainbow. Here is a rainbow. Rainbow! Oh. I had a feeling they would be here. Oh, kind of you. Beautiful rainbow. On the yellow woolly burger. On the yellow woolly burger. Have you taken. Pardon? Have you taken the bar out? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Yeah. Give him a kiss from me. Eh? Give him a kiss from me. <laughs> oh. Bye bye. Bring your brothers. Bigger ones. <laughs> you just start move yourself and you go another one on. And I am rainbow. The woolly burger is working well. Yellow woolly burger. Who would be? I was just thinking to set up my separate rod for the dry five. And there you go, woolly burger. Another rainbow, the same size than previously. <laughs> Maybe the same one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you. Thank you. Bye bye fish, thank you very much for a good fight. And there you go, and he's gone. Your turn to cut some fish. My turn, yeah. Yep, it's 2-1. I know it's, we just started, but to be honest, really good start. And you win. Well done. Well done, mate. So it's 2-2. Two, two. 
Oh, is it rainbow? You can tell. Ah, oh, good size. So what, two and a half pounds, three pounds. Yeah. What he said, stocking it three pounds. Isn't it? There is on. Well done, John. Nice fish. Really lovely fish. Ready? Yeah. I'll let him go then. I will be holding for a minute in the water and then let him go. That way. That way. Go. Go. Oh. <laughs> okay. If you don't want to go that way, maybe that way will be better. And he's off. Another rainbow. Oh, I'm ready for you. Yep, got him. Thank you. Nice fish. Oh, nice one. Okay, did you give him a kiss? Oh, he doesn't want it. He want to stay with you. <laughs> Still want to stay with you. Ah, oh, he's gone. He's gone. Sorry, D, thank you very much. You yeah. Much. Lost it another one. Oh God! Oh. No, woolly burger, yellow. But I just says there will be free, free. Gone, lost it. Oh, sausage. It's a third fish, but I lost it today. I think I need your help. It's jumpy. Where is it? Ah, there, somewhere. Got the rainbow. Sometimes it's worth it to move myself. Why don't I do? Is that it? I should have taken my net with me. We just shared one net between two of us. So hold on, trout. Hold on. I'll let you go in a minute. I know you all want to go. I'll hold on a second. Fish. It's a good person caught it that way. <laughs> oh, it's a good fish. Here is indeed. Bye bye, fishy. Thank you. He was a good fighter. Bye bye. When sun coming out is such a beautiful place. Oh, I really like that fishery. It's a quite a long distance from the home, but it is beautiful. Well, we come to uh, Longton Trout Lakes today in sunny Staffordshire, as you can see. There's Mr. Buchek over there. He's already had three today and lost three more. Three lakes, all well stocked this time of year. There's uh, rainbows, blues and browns. There are some real big ones in here, but they're mainly three pound fish around that mark. The ones we've had so far today have been that size and they've all been good, healthy fighting fish. It's 25 pounds, catch and release all day. We can't take fish, but we ever bother. But uh, we just happen to find a particularly nice sunny day today, for once. <laughs> Although it is a bit windy. I'll have a walk around and show you the other pools in a minute. This is uh, what they call Black Dog Pool. And then over there is Lodge Pool. There's pads fishing. And down below at the bottom, the biggest pool is Oak. We've had all of our fish off these top two pools. But we'll go down and have a try on the big one in a minute, see if we can get with him. See if we do any good. There are some big fish in here. I haven't seen any, but <coughs> I've been told there's double figure fish, so I'm not fishing too large. I've got 10 pound line on just in case. I wouldn't like to get bust if I do catch a big one. Which uh, don't seem very likely at the moment, but you never know. So this is the biggest pool, it's oak pool, down the bottom. I haven't seen any fish moving on it yet. But, uh, it's worth a cast or two anyway, because it does look promising. They're bound to stock it as well as the other two. So may as well have a go at it. Let's get 
getting a bit windy now though so it might be a bit challenging this is uh, Lodge Lake so hopefully the sun's coming out again now warm us up a bit after that uh, wind caught most of my fish on yellow today and Pav has been catching on his favourite woolly bugger we've had uh, one on the dial back and two on the yellow duster one under the bung and one being pulled through so pretty much anything work today Let's see if we can get another Hi guys, Lloyd and Trout Fishery. Uh, John, I seen it. You had a three and you lost three. Yeah, yeah. And all of them was the rainbow, isn't it? Yeah, all nice fish, all fought well. So we had them all early, both of us, didn't we? Yeah, all yeah. Early I, had a, I had exactly the same than you. I had a three and lost three. That's it. Oh, well, we day and all of it, we had it early before what? 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock? Yeah, that's it. We had them early and then sort of went quiet. Mm. And I've seen one or two fish caught this afternoon, but not many. So I think uh, this time of year, we probably did right to come early. Yeah. And yeah. we'd have had yeah. no fish at all. But it's not a bad place. We've had a nice time. We did. Uh, it's it's absolutely a brilliant place for me. I oh, really uh, like it. Nice, clear. That was expected. Money for Wailu is brilliant. It's yeah. only 25 pounds for whole day fishing. Yeah. So someone will have a lot of time that we did today. Yeah. From early morning up to the dusk, it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's just that uh, if I were given advice, I'd say come early because that's when we caught. We caught early and it went dead later on. So don't miss the early part of the day, <laughs> whatever you do. Find the lines, everyone. Cheers, guys. <laughs>